The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 485, About Time Too. A light breeze ruffled Valet's mane as she stared at her captive, how pinned to the ground by a forehoof in the middle of a dirt road alley. Bright blue sky silhouetted her, and her shadow was the only thing preventing him from squinting in the sunlight. She bit her lip. <laughs> How shuddered, grinning broadly and nervously. You remember your old buddy How, right? All the, uh, smashing times we had together and all? It's me. Whap! Valet slapped him, then stepped off. Thanks for being useless and bailing on me in the flame district. Hey, Puddles! Puddles left a still-stunned Belinda and happily waddled over. Hiya, cute Valet! Who's... She stopped and lifted her shaded goggles, ogling Ha with wide pupilless eyes. Whoa, Whoa, she murmured, voice deepening to its glacial tone for a few seconds. What, what do you do, do to his mane? I didn't realize, realize ponies could be so cruel. Whoa, that's creepy. How somehow scooted backwards, still upside down on his back. Weird magic detected! Hey, hold up! Valet stepped on his tail as he tried to retreat, sending him crashing back to the ground. Pancake, this is Puddles. Puddles? She raised an eyebrow. This is a super close friend of mine who's super sad about his continual failures to amount to anything in life, and he seriously needs to be cheered up. Help a girl out. Puddles gave her a deadpan look, voice back to normal. Seriously? How low do you think my standards even are? How wins, trying to get to his hooves and being stopped halfway by Felice hoof. Ouch, sister, he mumbled, rubbing the back of his neck. Really not got any kind words for your old friend here, do you? Valet looked flatly at him. Suddenly, her cutie mark tingled slightly, and she glanced over her shoulder to see the black griffin from the tavern standing behind her, an angry-looking Belinda leaning on his side with one foreleg slashed and dangling uselessly. Uh, hey? The griffin tipped his tricorn hat, looking dour. Kindly unhoof me crewmate, if you please. I be short enough on sailors already without losing any to past grudges that are beyond me control. Valet blinked down at how. You've got a new employer? <laughs> uh, sort of. How tapped his forehoofs together, clearly wanting to flee. Seriously? She glanced back up at the Griffin duo. You guys know how crazily unreliable this guy is, right? Didn't you bother getting letters of reference or anything? I mean, I would have given him the worst one you've ever laid eyes on, but still, the dude can't even stand and fight against a single army when... Uh, she shook her head. You know, never mind. Keep him. I do not want this as my problem. The black griffin shrugged as Howe was chucked toward him. He had a fine boat, and I just lost me own. And what be good matters worth in the face of an ocean gale? Uh, hey, how wins. Good captain, my etiquette has been passed down for- Shut up, newbie, Belinda Snarl. You two, if you hadn't cheated, right now you'd be- No, you pipe down a sack, Valley interrupted her in turn, tipping her head. You guys just lost your boat. Wait a sec, her eyes widened. I know where I've seen you before. You were those bums who got beaten up by Gazelle a week or two ago. You actually are pirates? She squinted at the leader. Bananas, how do you get away with dressing that obviously without getting found out? Or is this entire town just out of compliance with the whole heresy stuff? The captain's beak dropped even as Puddles started to wiggle in excitement. And how would ye know a thing like that? Mm, long story. I was in the area. The uh, valet shrugged. That's you, though, isn't it? Bananas. Her ears folded. And Pancake here still has that giant airship he swiped from Kira's goons. Her eyes flicked between the three of them. Ah, well, it was nice seeing ya, but come on, Puddles. We want no part of- Yes, we do! Puddles bounced her way over to the Captain, Belinda, and Hal. Hiya, Mr. Pirate! Puddles wants to join your team. What the- the captain blinked, suddenly receiving a face full of smiling, excited earth pony. Oh, no, you don't! Valet jumped at her, grabbing on successfully, yet once again, failing to bring Puddles down. 
She hung awkwardly off the mayor's side, grunting in frustration. Puddles, seriously, get... We're not just randomly becoming pirates. You can get sacrificed to Garshiva for that. Puddles gave her a nuzzle. Ah, cute filet wants to come too. Don't worry, Puddles won't leave you behind. Ah, uh, how raised an eyebrow. Forgive me for showing off my immaculate perception, but Valet, my old partner in unsavory deeds, could it be that you've found yourself a man friend? The last word was practically a squeak. What? No! Valet blurted. She the Yes! Puddles chirped over top of her. Cute Valet's my bestest friend ever! Hee! The captain gave them both a look. Then you're hardly in a position to lecture me about heresy under Garshiva, mixed lovers. Now, what's this about wanting to be part of the crew? You hardly look like you've got the disposition for battle and the perils of sea living. How, meanwhile, had both wingtips held to his mouth? Two lifetimes of eternal frustration brought to a romantic culmination in a humble alley before my very eyes. So exciting. Shut up, Pancake, Fully threatened, still struggling with Puddle. We are not an item, you are not a pirate, and you're going home. Stop trying to dig yourself deeper already. Puddles nuzzled her again, then glanced at the captain and curled her lip. Who needs this position when you can do this, Mr. Pirate? Yeah! She reared back, stomped down, and her forehooves crackled with icy energy, causing another sculpture to erupt out of the roadway a short distance away, completely blocking the alley. This one was of Puddles laying in the road, winking and sticking her tongue out as Valet played with her ears. No! Stop that! Valet groaned, uselessly trying to move her. It was like the mare's hooves were frozen to the ground, rendering her immobile. In fact, they might have actually been. The captain's eyes widened. Well now, magic like that might change a thing or two. Let's talk ideas, missy. Belinda hissed in disapproval, though it was clear she was conditioned to stay out of things when her superior was talking. Okay, Puddles happily agreed, trotting forward. Valet kept hanging on, even though she was clearly outmatched and the only sensible thing to do was escape of herself intact while she could. Bananas, why do you even want us? she hissed. Puddles, what's the big idea? Hmm, it sounds fun, Puddles decided. So there. Puddles! Stop! Flash! Valet's forehoods were frozen together, locking her in place, attempting to grapple Puddles' barrel. Her target trotted onward as happily as ever, and now there wasn't even anything Valet could do to leave. End of chapter 485